Who writes this guy's stuff? Oh yeah. Hey guys, Flybooker here with another tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to get custom effects on Movie Maker. A um, couple steps involved. First, you want to go to My Computer, and then you want to go to your program files and open up Windows Movie Maker. Once in there, you're going to want to open up your shared folder, and then open up a folder called Add-on TFX. Um, if you don't have that folder, go ahead and make one called that. Once you're in there, you're, wanna gonna, you're going to want to make a new text document. Once you have that done, um, open it up, and in there you're going to create an XML code called a Comp A Add B effect. Now I already have one of those right here, and the code I will post in the video description, so you'll just have to copy and paste it from there. Now the only important thing that you need to know is that you need to save the document as comp a add b dot xml. If you do not add doc xml to the end of the file name, it will not save as an xml document. Now, after you get that done, you're going to want to go... Why does my computer always freeze when I do a video? Every time. Okay, so, after you have your file saved, if you go into Windows Movie Maker, and you go to View Video Transitions, you will see your Comp A Add B effect right there. Okay, so now you want to get your effects. Go to detonationfilms.com video link right here. Um, once you're there, go to effects stock footage. And there you will have all sorts of effects. There are tons of free effects from this place. So go to your first one, or whatever you want to find, and get one of the effects. If you just click on this little link right here, it will automatically come up with your downloading. The only thing you want to remember is that the background has to be black. If it's not black, it will not work in Windows Movie Maker. So, once you're there, next go to google.com and Google search Quick Media Converter Download. After you get there, you're going to want to click on the fourth link and it will take you here. Just click Download Now. Um, this is the video converter I use. If you already have one, don't worry about it. Um, the reason you need that is because when you download from the Destination Films website, all of the effects are in .mov, and Movie Maker will not accept .mov. So in your converter thingy, you're going to want to find one of those, put it into your thing, and then if you're using Quick Media Converter, you're going to want to click on this little button right here and use Windows Media Player Format Custom Resize. And then after you do that, you will open up your folder where you want it to save, and then you will click Convert Now. After you get that going, you will have all of your effects in your place, and then you will go back to Windows Movie Maker and import that video. So now you want to actually make your effect. So I will go to the one that I just posted today, which is somewhere in here. That's not it. Right here. So I will just do a little tutorial with the one I have of Jake falling through the ceiling. It's just a basic clip of him falling. And then the effect that I used is something called Debris Blast Away whatever so here I have just the plain clip of the Debris Blast and once again Windows Movie Maker froze how awesome is that? so I'm going to cut the video right here until it unfreezes okay so it will come up with the video right here uh, whatever you want. Now when you first import the clip, 
the first couple, like second, will be, it'll have a watermark that says Detonation Films. You can just easily cut that out. Okay, so now in your actual video, you want to pinpoint the spot where you want the effect to start. So I want the effect to start about right there, right before Jake falls. So you'll cut your video, and then right there you will put your clip in. Now, you are also going to want to make sure that you make the clip as long as you want the effect to last. So I'll probably want it to last the entire thing just so I can have um, all the smoke and stuff. So, put your clip on the timeline, and then you go to your transitions. Here's where the comp A and B comes in handy. This takes away the black background and essentially does a black screen effect instead of blue or green screen. Now, you'll have him falling through, except, see, I made it way too early. So just there is when you will pinpoint the spot where your effect comes in. Like right there. That makes it look as if he has crashed through the ceiling instead of just jumping from the side of the couch. So that's pretty much all you need to do. The only problem is, at the end of the video there will be a black spot and that will save like that because you can't get it any shorter. So what I did is I saved it as a video file and then brought the video file that I saved back into Windows Movie Maker and in that I was easily able to take out the clip. Here's the full 29 second video and there's it falling and then you can see that there is a just a smidgen of a black screen which really messes up the video and so you can just cut it and then after that Duncan just beat Vicarious on drums good job Duncan you can easily cut out the little black spot and then it will easily flow without having any black mark so that's pretty much all you need to know to add your custom effects just be sure to visit detonation.destinationfilms.com link right here and get that done. But yeah, be sure to check the video description for the XML code, and have fun. See ya.